the worst fossil reconstruction ever made. Paleontology has had many blunders over the years. Whether it was the iguanodon nose horn that turned out to be a thumb spike, or putting the elasmosaurus's head on what turned out to be the tail, nothing is as bad as this spawn from hell. Because in 1633, a collection of fossils was found in Sewekenberg. And eventually, these bones were sent over to a Prussian scientist known as Otto von Guericke, who was, fun fact, not only a scientist, but also a philosopher, engineer, and physicist. So if anyone around would know what this odd creature was, it would be him. And so, the great Otto von Guericke took a long good look at the fossils and said, yeah, that's a unicorn. Fight me to cuffs. And thus, it was dubbed the Magdeburg Unicorn. And according to these drawings, and the sculpture based off said drawings that's located in the Natural History Museum of Magdeburg, the creature was supposedly a bipedal woolly mammal with a large horn coming from its cranium, and a short tail dragging across the floor so that this creature could stand with more stability. And looking at this thing, you just gotta ask, what the hell type of drugs was Otto on? I mean, this looks like something George Lucas would think up after leaving the bar with Carrie Fisher, eating a burrito supreme at Taco Bell, and then taking L. LSD right before going to bed. Obviously, this animal was not a unicorn. Sorry to disappoint you, Mabel. And most likely, some of the bones found, specifically the head, were from a woolly rhinoceros, which was a large species of rhino that lived during the Pleistocene, famous for its long, thick hair littered across its body to survive the cold environments of the Ice Age. Though, looking back on all this, we can't really blame them for not knowing any better. After all, this was a point in time where we basically had no understanding about fossils. Hell, going back to the woolly rhino, when it was first discovered in 1335, people believed the skull belonged to a dragon. So, we have to always remember that whether it's 1335 or 2024, or we as humans will always make mistakes. I mean, have you seen how many mistakes are littered across my videos? From calling Mongolia a part of China, to claiming Amphicillus is still a valid species, saying that the Cambrian had the highest oxygen levels, and who knows what else. But here's the thing, we learn. And that's what science is all about. The pursuit of knowledge and opening your eyes up for new possibilities. Looking back at past mistakes and learning from them. So, in conclusion, if you haven't seen those Facebook posts from 2022 all about this guy, now you know all about...